just in time for race season. The vlog is back and this episode is going to be about my comeback season because I'm not gonna lie, the struggle was real. It was some ups and downs. After five surgeries in my leg, I managed to get back full time. I didn't have any pain in my leg. It started quite uh, bad. I didn't get any top tens before Christmas. I sticked with my plan when it was really tough and I just believed in myself, just stayed patient and I, then I knew the result would come. World champs. We stayed at Antares and I have never stayed in a place like that. Look at this. It even has two freaking TVs. And we have Sonos in every single room. And we come to the living room! How amazing is it? Super. Super? Sure. First thing to do is to test the pool, of course. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> So, first out of three races during this World Champs is over for me. I skied out in the Super G, hurt my hand a little bit, but I'm fine. And I did the Super G, so that's good. Uh, but now I have a lot of time since I'm not doing the slalom. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of this amazing apartment, do some biking, and then I'm gonna grab a book and sit outside for a little bit, I think. Still have many days to come, so that's good. <laughs> Day three of the FIS Alpine Ski Racing World Championships in the heart of the Trois Vallées and the famous Rock de Fer race piece in Maribel. It's the second set of medals to be awarded for the women and today we're looking for the super giant slalom champion. High speeds and technical turns. Early starter, Kaiser Vikoff Lee, fresh off the back of a podium on the Women's World Cup downhill tour, is brimming with confidence in the fast opening section and holds it together well on the closing technical turns to set the early pace. It's Bassino that takes gold, Schifrin the silver for the USA, and two bronze medalists, Connie Hooter and Kaiser Vikoff Lee. For Norway, Kasia Vikov Lee! I got a chocolate that I could eat. Looks just the same. You got to come to it up, don't you know? So 
So I heard that Jerome from Switzerland can do tandem paragliding. So I had to ask and now I'm here. Please don't make me regret this. So Tina is joining and we'll see how it goes. And then we came to Kvitfjell, my first home race. My family was there, my friends. to grab my first ever victory at Kvitfjell with so many people there was uh, a dream come true and I will never forget that. I'm mean, also ready for the new season to start so uh, keep on watching and uh, we'll see what uh, next season brings.